Hey everybody, it's Friday Farm Vlog. No, it's not Soaping Sunday. I know I'm in my kitchen, but I promise we will take a farm tour. <laughs> I just have all of these farm fresh eggs that I want to use before I get my next batch today. They can accumulate pretty quickly, so I like to make sure that I'm using them. Wouldn't want any to go to waste. So, I am going to whip up a key lime pie from scratch pop that in the oven and I'll let that bake while we do a little farm tour and I'll update you on what's been going on on the farm and then you can come back in and see my pie. So if you have chickens and you get lots of farm fresh eggs, this key lime pie recipe is one of my favorite things to make with farm fresh eggs because you have to whip up the egg whites to make the meringue topping and they get so fluffy and such a big white topping with big peaks. It's gorgeous and it's fun to make, even more fun to eat. So <laughs> I will link the recipe in the description below. It is not my recipe. I found it online. I ate this dessert at Bahama Breeze and it's called Rebecca's Key Lime Pie. And so this is a copycat recipe of that and it is delicious. <laughs> So let's get started. I'm gonna bring you in closer so you can see what I'm doing for the measurements. I already preheated my oven to 300 degrees to get it ready for the pie crust. I always make sure to wash my hands before I start with my baking. And of course I used my goat milk soap. <laughs> Cause it's my favorite. Pie pan. I like to grease it up with a little bit of butter to help with removing the pie slices. And then I have my KitchenAid mixer. I'm gonna start with graham cracker crumbs. And I need two and a half cups. three tablespoons of sugar, three quarters of a cup of butter. I'm gonna melt this down in the microwave. Okay, and we got three quarters of a cup of melted butter. Now if you're using sticks of butter, it's one and a half sticks of butter. I like to give the sugar and graham crackers a little mix. All right, now we take our pie crust and we grab two cups. And these two cups is what we're going to make the outer crust with. We're just going to press the crumbs into the edge to form a nice thick crust. It already smells so good. Can't go wrong with butter, sugar, and graham crackers for a crust. It's really delicious. So you just keep going around, packing it in place. And then when you're happy with your outer crust, then you can add in the rest to put on the bottom in the middle. So there's still quite a bit left and it makes a nice thick base that you just pat into place. And voila, you have a delicious graham cracker pie crust. All right, I'm gonna set this aside. I'm gonna wash my hands and rinse this bowl out. I can use it for the next part. Okay, so for the filling, that's where some of these eggs come in. <laughs> We're gonna add the filling ingredients into here so we can whisk them up to fill into the pie. The eggs I'm going to use for the filling as well as for the meringue topping. And so I need to crack open six eggs 
but then split the egg whites from the egg yolk because the egg whites is what I'm going to use for the meringue topping and the egg yolk is what I'll use for the filling. <laughs> so I need six egg yolks and I need four egg whites. So I'm going to go ahead and get to cracking. So that's my four egg whites that I need. So I'm going to stop on the egg whites and I'm going to do the egg yolks. But don't worry, the egg whites I'm going to save for the dogs as a special treat because they love farm fresh eggs. Set that aside. All right, we're going to do the filling first. So I'm going to use the egg yolks and the egg whites I'm going to stick in the fridge for now. So the egg yolks are going to go in. And then I need two 14 ounce cans of sweetened condensed milk. This is not for you. You get the egg whites later. Now we're going to mix this well. Now it's time for the key lime juice. So I found this at Stop and Shop. This is the one that I use. It's called Nellie and Joe's Famous Key West Lime Juice. And it's delicious. So this is what I'm gonna use today, three quarters of a cup. And then I'll slowly mix it in. And now for the vanilla extract, we are gonna do half a teaspoon and we're just gonna stir that in gently and then it's gonna be ready for our pie. It already looks so pretty. So we are going to set this aside so this can set while we make the topping. Personally, I think this is the coolest part. After I rinse out this bowl, I'm going to add the egg whites into it. I'm gonna put a paddle attachment on my KitchenAid mixer so that way it can really whip the egg whites. And they go from being a clear viscous liquid to this like super white, voluminous, fluffy clouds <laughs> that like fill up the bowl. It's really cool. So let's do that. Okay, now that the egg whites are foamy, we're going to add the cream of tartar, which is just half a teaspoon. Okay, so now for the sugar. The sugar combined with beating the egg whites with the cream of tartar for three to five minutes is what's gonna give us those really fluffy meringue toppings. I got a half cup measuring scoop, so I'm just gonna do three of these for one and a half cups. Usually I have this go for the full five minutes, so while that's spinning away, I'm gonna put this stuff away, clean up a little bit. So I'm gonna add spoonfuls on top. And this is set pretty well, so it is holding the topping on top of the filling, so that's good. I 
And now I'm gonna use a little spoon to dip in and pull up to make little swoops to give it that classic meringue look. It came out so pretty. Okay, so now we're gonna pop it in the oven for 25 to 30 minutes. That's gonna make nice golden tips and bake the filling and the crust as well. And it's gonna be so delicious. <laughs> I hope you guys try this at home. This is an awesome recipe. So I'll pop this in and we'll go outside, take a little farm tour. <laughs> it's gorgeous out today. Let's see if our chickens want some fresh cantaloupe from our garden. It looks delicious. Looks like our roosters, Clifford and T-Bone, have decided to join us. Hi, boys. Chickies! Chicky babies! Chickies! So these chickens of mine always come running when I call them and I have snacks. They are being very cautious and only the two roosters were out in the yard when I came out. That makes me think that there was an aerial predator and that my chickens are staying under the covered area while the roosters are standing guard. Because even the hens that I finally got to start coming out are being really shy about coming out here. So I'm gonna bring these melons to them and keep an eye out. I'm also gonna let my two big dogs out here just so they can keep an eye out. Never wanna mess around with predators when you have chickens. Right, you guys enjoy that. I'm gonna take some to the rest of the flock. The babies are getting big. There's Fern with her two babies. They're starting to get pretty fluffy. Hey, Junior Rose. She likes the cantaloupe. Oh, she's mad. You guys are in here. Come on out. Come on. Mama hens don't like when dogs are around their babies. Come on. Come on, puppies. Good boy. Anna, come. Good girl. Thank you. Okay, let's see if the other chicks like this. It's new. Our garden has cantaloupe to eat now. Get to try your first cantaloupe. There you go. No. 
not sure if I just got pecked or stung, but that hurt. I didn't mean to scare them. I'm gonna let them enjoy that. I'm gonna go check that pie. Time to check on the pie. All right, I just washed my hands quick. Let's see how this came out. Oh, it's pretty. So pretty. I'd like the tips to get just a little bit more brown, so we're gonna do a few more minutes. Okay, let's see if we're ready. Gorgeous. I'm so happy with how it came out. Now we're gonna let it cool. Okay, oven and timer is off. I'm really happy with how this came out. I'm gonna let it cool. I love just the light brown tips. That's what we're going for, just so that it gets that little bit of crunch on top. So it has to cool for 15 minutes here at room temperature. And then we're gonna pop it in the fridge for three to four hours to chill. And that will help really solidify it and then you get to enjoy it. <laughs> so while this sits for 15 minutes, let's get back out on the farm. All right, we're gonna check out the garden now. Like I was telling you on Friday Farm Vlog about the rain and how after a rain, af like I was telling you with Friday Farm, like I was telling you on the last Friday Farm Vlog when we have like a really nice rain, the garden just explodes with growth and I'm so excited to show you how much this garden has grown. <laughs> hey! You messing with the chicks? All right, everyone's okay. Looked like the uh, dogs were paying a little too much attention to the baby chick and the flock got mad. They corralled the baby chick and brought the chick back into the chicken coop area. Sometimes the puppy gets a little too curious. You scared the baby. Yeah. <laughs> you're a big puppy now. Yeah, you're scary now that you're so big. Okay, back to our garden tour. Look at the raspberries. Look at the raspberries, how high they're trellising and they're really filling out more. And we've got lots of delicious, lots of delicious red fruit to enjoy. I did plant some squash plants over here in the hopes that those will trellis and they're growing so we'll see how that goes we've been harvesting a lot of cantaloupe oh, oh my goodness here's another one so we check to see if it's off the vine or ready to come off the vine so this one's still attached and it's big and it's starting to turn yellow, which is a good sign. So I give it a little tug. If it doesn't release, then I leave it for a couple more days and I'll check on it again. I like to have it either release on its own or pop off easily with a little tug. Lots of cantaloupe vines, tomato plants, the watermelon vines are growing. We have been eating the purple grapes off of this grapevine, as well as the green grapes off of this vine here. So we've been enjoying those. Now 
while we've had lots of fruit to harvest between the raspberries, the grapes, the cantaloupe, we're still waiting on vegetables. But as you can see, the vegetables, they're growing. <laughs> Although we have been harvesting lettuce, that's quick to grow. I've been having salads with that and it's delicious, nice, fresh, and crisp. But we are patiently waiting on our tomatoes, on our squash, on our cucumbers, and whatever else surprises pop up in here. <laughs> I did put stepping stones, but it's hard to find them in all the growth, but I do my best. <laughs> Here. That almost looks like an acorn squash. That's getting pretty big. We're growing some zucchini down here, looks like. Whoa, look at this zucchini down here. That one looks like it's almost ready. Oh, a little cucumber. And another one right next to it. And the, this is the row of lettuce that I've been harvesting from for my lunchtime salads. Our Romano tomatoes are growing in. Our little cherry tomatoes, some more Romanos, another little squash down here. Ooh, what's this? Now sometimes the cantaloupe just falls off the vine like this one and it's on the smaller side but I find them to be delicious when they're small and it actually has a yellow tint to it. So this is one that I'll bring into the house and can have a nice cantaloupe snack. Check on this one in here. That one's still, that one's still pretty green, so we'll leave that one. So hopefully we'll get some vegetables in the near future. Let's see how the chicks are doing. Oh, that's the timer for the pie. <laughs> Let's go pop it in the fridge. All right, this pie looks great. We are going to pop it in the fridge for three to four hours. That I would say is the hardest part is waiting all that time before getting to try it. But based off of the smell, it smells so good. I think it's gonna be delicious. <laughs> but it's not for me. I am gonna chill it and then I'm gonna pack it up and bring it to my husband at work. He works as a firefighter at the fire station. And I know he and his fellow coworkers will enjoy a key lime pie made from scratch. They work really hard and they deserve to have some delicious dessert. And I will say I have indulged in the key lime pie while it was still warm instead of waiting for it to chill. <laughs> And it's still delicious. It's just more runny. It doesn't have like that thicker gel consistency. So you do get the better texture once it's chilled and cool, but you still get the delicious flavor and warmth when you have it warm out of the oven. <laughs> okay, back to the farm tour. The dogs were bothering the main flock, so put them back. And I'm gonna let the roosters out now. They very much enjoy free ranging. <laughs> and that is 17 roosters. And here's number 18. Stop for a quick drink. Going back. These roosters sure do love to take advantage of this full yard. Run around, chase each other, get some energy out. 
They actually like the uh, pallets over here. They tend to perch up there and hang out. Hang around the tractor. Hello! <laughs> Looks like the chicks did a good job on their cantaloupe. They enjoyed the seeds. And in the goat pen, my gorgeous bull thistles with all the flowers are now completely gone. And their seeds are in all this white fluff that's been blowing around. But they were gorgeous while they lasted. Hi, Miss Elizabeth Bennett. No. I'm getting so big. Yeah. And Miss Nancy, who decided not to have any babies this summer. Which is really sad. I really wanted her to have some kids. I do want to do a pregnancy test on her just to be sure. At this point, with nothing happening, which her being way past her due date, I'm going to say that she is not pregnant. Just gained weight from all the extra grain I was supplementing because I thought she was pregnant. Considering how often she got to hang out with this buck here, Rory. They got put together many times. Each time she went into heat, I did not see any breeding occur, but you would think with their many hangouts all day long into the evening that something would have happened. Right, boys? You would think. Yeah. <laughs> where's Mr. Darcy? Now, oh, Freddie, where's Mr. Darcy? I love when she balances on there. <laughs> Mr. Duck, what are you doing? What are you doing? Hi! You were hiding in all the hay. You were eating lunch. Eating lunch. Mr. Darcy is fully weaned from Miss Amelia Bedelia. And that was not my doing. That was Amelia decided she did not want to nurse him anymore. So I kept bringing him out two to three times a day, but she was not allowing him to nurse. And honestly, he seems to have accepted it. He doesn't try to come out anymore to go visit because he knows he's going to get his butt kicked. Huh. The girls don't want you out there anymore. Except for your sister. She likes to play, but Fancy Nancy and Amelia Bedelia don't want you playing anymore. Yeah. Oh, I didn't lock it right. We have an escapee. And Amelia's going to get mad because she doesn't like the boys near her babies. I know, Calvin. Come on. Come on, Calvin. You can't hang out with the girls. Amelia's the herd queen and she will not stand for you to be in here. And that's your mom. But even she knows you're not supposed to be visiting. Come on. I know. Come on. Miss Elizabeth is your cousin. You cannot breed with her. Go on, my boy. Back inside. You know the drill. Oh, do they smell good? Oh, no. Now the girls are in here. Miss Elizabeth. Oh. Good girl. Good girl. Okay.
Okay, so we had a bit of a girl and boy mix up, but I got everybody separated without anybody trying to mount anyone, so that's good. <laughs> They're definitely interested though. Oh boys, what was that? Did the girls visit you? Yeah? <laughs> Mr. Darcy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I love your beard. It's growing in so nice. As is yours. I love how dark your beard is. Yeah. And then Rory with his toupee and his giant beard. Very nice. Alright. I'm making my escape. Secure. All right, my little goaties. Have a good day. Really? You're going to try to escape? Come on. Oh, no, Elizabeth. Not you, too. It's one thing goats are known for is escaping. Sorry, ladies. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out with me today. It's been fun. <laughs> I hope you're enjoying your Friday and hey maybe you'll get to bake a key lime pie here soon with your farm fresh chicken eggs <laughs> and if you haven't started your farm yet what are you waiting for get your farm on one two one two three four do you want a farm a wicked awesome farm watch this channel to learn what to do we love to farm and we'll show you yeah welcome to our show